Hey everyone, it's Hayes, and today we're going to be discussing who the charm in Scentsy Bubbler, which is episode 14 of Miraculous Ladybug season 4, will be going to. Now, there's no confirmation that a charm will be given out, but we do see Ladybug in this suit in the trailers we have, and all the other times we've seen her in the suit, she's given out a charm. So, quick review, first three episodes this season, she didn't have the power. So that leaves us with Mr Pigeon 72, Furious Fu, Soul Crusher, Queen Banana, Guilt Trip and Optigami so far, because we're still missing 5, 9, 10 and 12 right now. At this rate we'll have seen the finale and we still won't know what happened in episode 5, like I will cry, I'm not joking. That's so upsetting. Apart from the first three episodes, and of course the ones we're missing, in the rest of the episodes this season Ladybug has given out a charm. First to Mr Ramier, then to Master Fu, then to Zoe, then to Chloe, then to Julika and finally to Audrey, and every time Ladybug has been in the suit, so I feel it's safe to assume, since we know she will be in the suit, that she will be able to give out a charm to someone in the episode. But who to? The episode is titled Scenty Bubbler, and it was confirmed yesterday when the synopsis was released that the villain of this episode will be a scenty monster, not a person akumatized. The villain is just a copy of Nino's original akumatized form from the first season. Ladybug isn't going to de-akumatize Scenty Bubbler, she'll just destroy the Amok, or at least Shadow Daddy will. Right now, it doesn't seem like anyone will be akumatized in this episode from what we know so far. So, what happens to the charm? In all the other episodes where a charm has been given, it gets given to the akumatized person. Alec didn't receive a charm in Optigami when an Amok was made of him, but Audrey was akumatized, so she got it. But if no one gets akumatized, will this mean the charm gets given to Alia. Right now, with the information we have, it doesn't seem like it really matters who the charm is given to, to be honest. In Queen Banana, even though Zoe had no intention of keeping it, having Chloe's charm for a short period of time didn't seem to bring Zoe any harm. It raises the question if Ladybug actually has to give the charm to the person who's been akumatized. Surely she could give it to whoever she wanted? And what's going to happen if there's a situation where more than one person is akumatized at once, like in Gang of Secrets? Will she produce five charms? What's going to happen in Croco Jewel? We know Jaggedstone and Annika both get akumatized, so will there be two charms? Back to Scenty Bubbler, what I'm saying is I feel that Ladybug has a choice of whether or not to give the charm to Alia or Nino, and I think Marinette will pick Alia. Nino, while he is in danger this episode, Nino can be captured and rescued without revealing any compromising information since he doesn't know anything. Alia, on the other hand, knows who Ladybug is. She needs protecting more, even though she has miraculous to protect herself. Yes, Nino can be used against her to get her to betray Ladybug, but Rina Rouge, Ladybug and Chat Noir can rescue Nino. While it would be great for him to have a charm eventually, it seems the only other way Alia can get one right now is to be akumatized, which would be, um... In a nutshell, not a good idea, and she needs to be protected to stop Shadow Daddy from getting her miraculous. This brings me on to my next point about the extent of the protection of the charms. We saw in the ending of episode 8, Queen Banana, how the charm physically repelled the Akuma, so we know they work. However, in Mr Pigeon 72, episode 4, Ladybug says the charm will protect you from negative emotions. We're going to get a bit abstract here, so pull your socks up and I hope you have your seatbelt on. But I feel like we need to ask, will the charms also repel Shadow Daddy? I had wondered in another video about the possibility of Shadow Daddy literally breaking into Alia's house and stealing the Miraculous, and maybe he will try that, but if Alia wears the charm, it might physically repel him. Shadow Daddy is negativity personified, like he's not excited about the existence of anyone really, including his own son. I feel like it's worth asking, although I'm probably wrong, if the charm would repel him. Yes, no, maybe so, it's okay, this is your permission to call me an idiot in the comments, but do you see where I'm coming from besties? Ladybug wasn't that specific. She didn't say your own negative emotions only, she just said negative emotions. It was pretty general. So if Shadow Daddy quite literally can't touch Alia, what will he do then? I think at this point he'll either get Natalie to use the Peacock Miraculous to do it, but not gonna lie, I just want to see Natalie. Where is she? Like, points for being a good boss for letting your girlfriend, I mean assistant, be on bed rest, but I need to see her. Failing that, I think Shadow Daddy might bring Lila in to do her thing, because like, what has she been doing this season? She went to class once in Guilt Trip and was largely unhelpful, but she also didn't really do or say anything. Is she just not gonna do anything until the finale? Of course, we don't know if Ladybug's yo-yo will generate a charm if no one is akumatized, but surely she could just create one if she wanted to, right? Wouldn't it be great if she doesn't make a charm at all in this episode and this video was just a waste of time? Thanks, Marinette. 
thanks. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. Sensi Bubbler will air on the 6th of July on Mundo Globe in Portuguese, but then in English on the 24th of July on Disney Channel USA. But in the meantime, I'd love to know what you think. Do you think Ladybug will give the charm to Alia or Nino, or do you think she won't even make a charm at all? I'll see you in the next one.